Hey y'all, it's Chris. Um, it's Sunday, and I am 21 weeks slash five months on T. Um, there's been a few changes that I would like to mention. There's only like two of them, but I feel like they should be mentioned. Sorry, I'm waiting in a freaking intersection in like the worst part of town because like nobody lets anybody out in this part, so, um, there we go, um, so like I said, I'm five months on team, um, I feel like literally the last video, I was like a four months on team, time is just like killing me right now, it's just going so fast, um, but yeah. So, two things that I've noticed recently about, um, for, like, changes and such, um, there's actually three, um, the first one is acne, um, acne wasn't too bad before, but now it's absolutely horrible, like, it's everywhere, like, everywhere and it's really irritating and bothersome, like, whenever I try to shave, it physically hurts, um, so I might have to stop doing that for a while, or try to find a skincare routine to where I can get it to get down, um, it is very frustrating, um, it's annoying, and it's painful at times, and it's just unbecoming, I don't think I look very good, um, I mean, it looks like I've got scars on my face as it is right now because of how bad it is, um, and I had acne really, really bad when I was a teenager, going through the first puberty, um, I had to go to a whatever doctor it is that you go to for a like, skin problem, um, dermatologist, and I had to get, like, special medication prescription that was stronger than the stuff that you get over the counter, um, so I'm hoping that I don't have to do that again, because that was, that was tough. um, I mean, it's rough anyway, because, like, I'm 27, and I have acne, so, but that's just a part of testosterone, transformation, and whatever, um, but, yeah, so, that's, one thing that I've noticed a lot lately, it was just the other day I was looking at myself in the mirror and I'm like, dude, I have a lot of acne, like ridiculous amount of acne, and it's like down here, it's not, and it's not like all over my face, it's just like on my cheeks and like under my chin and stuff, but it's disgusting. I don't like it, um, I know it's part of the territory, so I'm just accepting it, but, you know, and I work in a kitchen, so it's greasy all the time anyway, which is probably why, um, the second thing, I did mention it in my last video for last week about growth, um, I do believe that it's growing again, um, just today, I was at the grocery store to get drinks, um, for work and whatnot, um, it kind of hurt a little bit, and walking around this morning, I was cleaning out the car a little bit, and it's just like, around the 
because it's kind of like the same thing that happened when it first started growing. It's just rubbing on my underwear the complete wrong way, and it's uncomfortable, it's painful, it's just a lot, um, and it's not fun. So, that's, that's a thing that I'm dealing with currently, um, and I did actually measure it, um, because I was curious, because I'll tell you in a minute, um, about my doctor's appointment, how that went, um, but, um, I did measure it, and I can't say that I was shocked, um, because I wasn't, um, because I was like, it's maybe like an inch, half an inch to an inch, and that is exactly what it is, it is an inch, so that's pretty cool that I somehow realized that it was an inch, there's a baby deer running around on the road, he's so cute, anyway, so, that was a fun fact, and now I feel like it's growing again, um, I'm not really sure how long it takes to get to where it's going to be officially, but I really hope that it keeps going, um, because I can't really do anything with it right now, and it's just a big source of dysphoria for me currently, and my pouches that I got from Get Your Joey still have not gotten here, um, so I'm waiting for those so I can keep my packers in, because um, all the homemade um, harnesses and everything that I have, they just, they don't work exactly how I want them to anymore, um, I don't want it really touching my skin anymore, um, because half of the harnesses that I've made, um, is just, like, a pair of underwear with a hole in it to, like, keep it in place and that's it, um, that's not working for me anymore, um, I just don't like the feeling of it on my skin, I used to, I liked knowing that it was there, um, and I made a DIY Joey pouch and it didn't work as well as I had expected it to, um, so, I'm just gonna wait until they get here, and then I'll be able to start packing again, and hopefully feel somewhat normal, because I hate not having it, I hate not packing, and feeling emasculinized, because I have to fix the, all that other stuff that is just no fun, um, and then, the third thing, getting back on track what I'm talking about, because I tend to wrangle. Um, third thing, I'm starting to get a really bad temper. Um, everything is pissing me off. Everything is making me angry. Um, I get an argument a lot more often than I used to. Um, I don't take as much bullshit as I used to, but in turn of that, I go off because I just don't want the bullshit, so it pisses me off when somebody tries to start bullshit, and I go off on them, and it's not like I mean to, it's just like I don't know why, I'm just a very short fuse, and I've always had a short fuse, but this is the shortest it's ever been, um, 
is extremely short. I don't know why, but it's shitty. It sucks, and I hate being this way. Like, I just want to be happy, and I want to be carefree, and I want to be able to, like, handle things better. Um, I'm thinking about going to a psychiatrist again, um, and getting put back on anxiety and depression meds, because my depression has been at an all-time high, and so has my anxiety. While I was in the grocery store, I was in line for the register, and a lady in front of me, like, she kind of turned around and she was asking me what time it was, and then, like, she kept walking closer till she was almost touching me, and I was very uncomfortable, and I was trying to, like, calm down, and, because she was like, what time is it? So I told her what time it is, and then she tried to look at my phone, like, why are you trying to look at my phone? Like, go away. Like, freaking me out. And she was just, like, insanely close to me. And, um, the, there was, like, a lady on the other side, and, like, she kind of looked at me, and, like, I was, like, breathing really hard because I was freaking out, and so I don't know if she kind of realized that that lady got way too close and I was freaking out or, like, what the deal was, but she kind of looked at me, um, but I was terrified, and my anxiety has been crazy lately. Um, so, I, I don't want to go back on meds, but I feel like it's the only choice, and if there's anything natural that I can do to try to prevent that shit from happening, I'm going to try that first, because I don't want to put chemicals into my body. I want everything to be natural. Um, so, it is what it is, but if there's a better, more natural way to do it, then I'd be willing to try an all-natural way to do it before starting back up on Vistaril and Zoloft because I just don't like taking pills. So, it's a thing, but, um... So those are, like, all of the changes. Um that I've been noticing over the past week. Um, like I said, I noticed my acne just this week. Um, anger has been slowly getting worse and worse and worse. Um, and then, of course, like, the whole growing pain thing. It just recently started a couple days ago. So, we shall see. been having growing pain for a couple of weeks now. I put something about it in the last video as well. Um, so, we shall see what happens. Um, but, on to my doctor's appointment. Um, I had my doctor's appointment on Thursday, Thursday morning. Um, and it was with the doctor who's going to be taking over for my testosterone and stuff, um, and I told her about how I get, like, kind of more antsy and angry and stuff around Wednesdays and Thursdays, like, before my shot, and I was like, I don't know if it's because, you know, the testosterone is, like, wearing off, and the estrogen is trying to fight and be like, you know, this is I out, get out, kind of thing, or what the deal is, and she said that's probably what it was, it was just like, kind of going down, you know? um, so she prescribed me some patches, which I have yet to get, because my insurance needs a prior authorization, um, to do that, because testosterone is a controlled substance, and they want to know why I'm being prescribed patches and testosterone. So, I'm just waiting for 
her and that to go through, so I can do the patch. So she wants me to like wear a patch every day on top of my key dose. Um, so everything kind of stays level. Um, and then she says something about raising my dose when I go back to see her on in December. Um, so I'm real excited about that. Uh, and kind of hype actually. Um, that my dose is going to be raised a little bit. Um, uh, maybe things will start happening faster. I don't know. Um, if not, I'll survive. But it would be really, really, really cool. Um, and then she said that she was going to measure everything. She was going to measure my, my uh, calf, my, like, all my muscles and stuff, like my arm, my chest and stuff. And she also said she was going to measure the throat. Which is why I decided to measure it myself. Because I just wanted to know. Because um, I'm curious. As anybody would be to know how big their thing is. So, that's what happened. Um, overall, I'm pretty excited about it. I hope that raising my dose helps me, um, especially with the whole anger thing that I've been dealing with um, around Wednesday. get myself straight. Another thing. I got the implant, the next one on. Um, and I haven't had a period since I started speaking. So like June 1st to like June 4th or 5th um, was like the last one that I had. And since my doctor in D.C. said that it should be fine because it doesn't have estrogen in it and because the last time I had it, I bled a lot. Like, they put it in and within a couple of days I was sleeping. Um, and it just didn't stop till it was down. Um, which really sucks. And I couldn't imagine going through that now. Um, but, like, I feel like there's a little bit of spotting and it's freaking me out. Um, so, hopefully, my periods aren't coming back. I'm really, really hoping they're not, because I could not handle that at all. Um, and I don't really want to have to get this thing taken out of me. I've already been through this process once. I don't want to have to go through it again. Um, it was shitty the first time around. And I would like to be able to have it for the whole three years that I have it, instead of like three months, but we shall see. Um, but that's all that I have for today and my five month update. Um, I know my videos are few apart at this point. I'm trying to do it every week, but there's just not much changing at this point. Um, if anything, it's my voice is just getting a little bit lower every day or every week or whatever. Um, other than that, nothing is really, it doesn't really feel notable enough to, like, say anything about, because it's just the same exact stuff. So, I will keep doing updates. I will keep making videos. But if I have anything that changes or whatever, it'll probably be few and far between. Um, more likely than not, it'll just be like like 22 weeks on me. Maybe something will happen that week, and I feel like it's notable to like say. But other than that probably going to be like the same video over and over and over and over again. But that is all I have. 
and I will see you all next week.